Let's go into the MVP interview now. Do you know your record in the postseason right now? He thinks he's 8-0 right now. That is correct. Eight wins, zero losses. Defeated a ton of strong players. Ace players, Last Zest, T.Y., Fial, Hero. They're all fantastic players that he's taken out. Did you see the rogue match yesterday? He doesn't really care who the hero is of his team. Even if it's rogue, it doesn't matter. He just wants his team to perform well. He's like, nah, I wasn't watching. <laughs> I was texting. <laughs> He thinks that Hero went for 11 gateway. He says that I also went for an 11 gateway. He says he was very confident that he could defeat him. Hero used a similar build against Mario yesterday. That's uh, just why he was trying to use the build that could defend that build. He just had to defend, oh, defend the Oracle, yeah. I think I said uh, Maru, who's actually Sora. Just wants the match here against Biel. Charge was not upgraded yet. Uh, well, most people were saying Biel had the advantage at this moment. Charge finishes, of course, here, as you guys can see. But once Charge finished, you were able to take this engagement. It didn't look like plus one was finished, by the way. Yeah, I think you're right. If Biel went Mutus, I would have definitely lost the game. I was really happy he just made Hydras instead. Um, uh, he's saying he lost uh, Colossus with the mistakes of Micro. That's a bad translation. There's no Colossus in this game, but the Archon. yeah, probably, probably the Archon. Um, uh, but yeah, that's, I think that's what uh, he's going to do there. Storm's coming down here, as you guys can see. DT is also helping out in this fight quite a bit, as SOS points out on the screen. I think the two, two DTs there made a huge uh, difference, he says. Um, those two DTs are actually one of the key units uh, in actually winning this battle. I would like to see if he says anything about the fact that he's got plus three versus no upgrades. Why did you keep making DTs? I just wanted to annoy him. Harass him. Good choice against Biel considering his mindset. Sure. Uh, if, he comes for, if he comes for an all-in, I need to actually harass him and Dark Templar are the best units for that. So looks like that's going to be that for the game analysis. So we're talking about Ultralis. Saying Solar's Ultra is really strong. I don't know how that's relevant here, so I'm not sure what they're talking about. Uh, please stop talking to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, so now you're going to Latte World in the Grand Finals. Last year it was a Telecom Wars. This time it's Jin Air versus SKT. We lost to KT last year, I was really disappointed, really wanted to play in the finals. 
I wanted to play in a new venue, an outside venue, so I'm really happy that we're going to Latte World. To make it even better, we're going to have to win in the finals. So we're going to prepare very well for next week. SK has a winning record versus uh, Jenner currently. Or is there any player you specifically want to defeat? All of them. I want to play against the strongest player. I want to defeat the ace player in order to help the team. Who would that be? And Kanata says that every player in SK team seems strong right now. Probably like innovation or something would be the guy to kill. Do you want to keep your winning streak in postseason? He says, of course, I would like to have a 9 or a 10-0 in postseason. Make it a 12 -0. Thank you to the fans for coming. See you guys at Latte World. All right. Bows himself out of that one. He's Pretty sick. nice interview. Yeah, he got sick of it at the end there. He's like, you're mentioning Solar's Ultras? I'm out of here. <laughs> I didn't need to talk about that. Well, guys, as we said before, the Grand Finals on October 10th at the Latte World Adventure Garden Stage is going to be between SK Telecom T1 and the Jin Air Green Wings at 6.30 p.m. Same time as always. You better not miss it or you're not a fan of StarCraft. It would be one of the biggest upsets in Pro League history if Jin Air is able to defeat SKT, especially considering Jin Air was not able to win a single round. Uh, in you know regular season, they played in like, every single final except the fourth one and lost three times in a row. Uh, whereas SK won multiple, was number one even like halfway into round three. It was like already known that they were going to the grand finals because they had so many points. If Jenner is able to take a win, huge upset. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing finals. I, I'm so excited to be out there at Latte World with you two guys casting oh, that finals. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait yeah. to do it again. Yeah, so definitely spread the word about this. Get the hype building. We want to have a ton of viewers for this. Mm. We want to show the world that Pro League is strong. There's a huge audience of you know English viewers that are watching this. You know, this is important for the future, guys, for you guys to watch this, to tune in, be there live if you can mm. be. Otherwise, make hype posters, you know, make hype threads to get in there, discuss this, you know, tell your friends about it, get people together, take pictures, get excited because this is how StarCraft II continues to thrive in Korea going into a new expansion. Yeah, exactly. And that's going to do it for us, guys. Thank you for that little peace, Wolf, about StarCraft. But that's going to be it. Thank you once again for watching, and we'll see you guys at the finals.